Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at a very true survivor that has not been touched since it came from the factory. So join me in learning all about this, all original, including the paint, a 1979 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 or Z28, depending on where you're from. Hello, and thank you for sleeping some time in today. This episode, we are going to talk about a very special car that is original Survivor. It has not been touched since the factory, other than I think the wheels were redone. They're still factory wheels, but they needed a little redoing. But other than that, it's all original. It's quite a Survivor story. I've had the pleasure of knowing this owner from a few years back. He told me about the car, uh, some of it. I never did see it until I went to this very special show that we both happened to be in. It was a car show, we ran into each other, and I had to do this interview and, and, and tell the story to the world out there about it because it is amazing to see this car and I want to take you through it. I'm telling you, this car, it doesn't even have a rock chip on it, which is amazing. And the story will be about exactly how it was kept in this preservation state and how it's come to be to this car show today. The other thing that I'd like to mention is why it's called Disco Z. You can Google that, but it's really the sign of the times. And if you look at the car, you can kind of see why it was called Disco Z. There was Disco Camaro, and it's kind of a, a derogatory term, I think, a slang that was put on at the time. But now it's grown with the car, and everybody sees that and just loves, loves the calling it that. So uh, that's why it's called Disco Z, and there's lots of information on that if you want to go back in that. This is some pictures of when it was purchased by the original owner and you can tell how even though the pictures are dated from the time period of 1979 you can see how in the last what is it 43 years that it hasn't changed at all we certainly have but the car hasn't which is amazing for this this car in itself so let's get on with the interview so first of all tell everybody what this is what, okay. Well, what we're looking at here is a 1979 Chevy Camaro Z28. Uh, this is what they call nowadays a survivor car, and it, it has never been restored. It's never been repainted. This is exactly as it left the factory. In, uh, Seats, everything? Seats and everything. Like, no, nothing has been done. Nothing. And I, and I know this because I've known the original owner for many, many, many years. We met at work in 1998. I attempted to buy the car off of him then. Uh, but at the time, uh, he knew right off the bat that I was not a worthy candidate at that time. But I stuck with it. I stuck with uh, asking him. I worked with him for a number of years. I worked with his wife for a number of years. And I just kind of kept reconnecting with them and just uh, so proving that I was going to be the right next owner for this car, more so than a financial purchase. And other than seeing it, had you driven it? Never. Run or anything? You he okay. showed me some photographs of, of it. And it took me back to when I was in high school. My buddy at the time had the same car, same color, with no T-roofs and an automatic. So when he first showed me pictures of it in 98, I was like, I must have this car. So yeah, it was And I will add for people period. out there, this that is a Survivor and it is a manual transmission. 100%. In that year, which wasn't that often. Manual transmissions yeah. rarely live. You know, in the typical <laughs> life cycle of an F-body is purchased new, sold to high school punks, Yeah. Uh, destroyed, that's pretty much the... the yeah, or Mother Nature just turned him into that as well. Finish him off. So, yeah. being that it's a T-roof car, it's been stored indoors its whole life, and you can tell because there's no sun damage whatsoever to the interior. So what year did you get it? I got this in 2018. Oh, so it took me fairly from recent. to 2018, legitimately 20 uh, years of persistence to finally get the car. It needed very little. Uh, the previous owner, although he didn't put many miles on it, he still took care of it. So how many miles are on it? When I or kilometers? It, it had 68,000 kilometers. Wow. Now it has about 74. And I drive it as much as I can, whether it's empty. Wow, that's... You know, I mean, it looks that way. Even even with that many, it's just it's been taken care of so well. Like that interior, I'll get a closer shot later, but that uh, um, that's just crazy. 
as far as other well, things that it needed, very again, very little, just maintenance items that needed to be looked after, seals, gaskets, things like that. It needed a new exhaust system, so we made sure we put on a uh, correct period, correct, but it's a two and a half inch manual system. These cars are so popular, the aftermarket supports them quite heavily, so we were able to get a high quality stainless steel exhaust system that replicates the original tips mm -hmm. on the end. Sounds nice, not too loud, old man loud. Which engine does this have then? It's the in that year? 375 horsepower. And it's Thank all you. stock still underneath, the original or so little? The original when, when the 5 liter Mustangs came out with fuel injection mm -hmm. in the mid 80s, he did a lot of street racing with this and he wanted to keep up um, as the story goes. So he put different cylinder heads on it that came off of a 69Z28. 202 heads, polished, ported, bigger cam, single plane intake, and a car. So okay. the top end is not original, but the block is the original numbers matching the block. Okay. It's never been out of the car. Clutch has never been changed. Oh, really? Never been changed. So he did all that work, but he really didn't drive it hard to burn out a clutch at all. No, no, no. no, <laughs> no not a bit. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of a rumble to it, a little bit of a bark, but not a whole lot of bite. That's it's fair. Just, it's fun. Yeah. It's a good fun car to rip around. Now he must, I don't know if he had kids, but he must have not let his kids or anything in it or something because they were right. very disciplined or something. Yeah. He had four kids and he did not let them in the car. Okay. Uh, the back seats were largely unused until I took it on and then, you know, my kids did. They loved it. Mind if I cross the rope here and have a, have a look here? So. Oh, wow. This is like, yeah. <laughs> So is that factory here too, like this? That black? Yes, it is, yep. Okay. I learned something today on that already. Okay. I think you, uh, oh man, those seats. And it's such a, it's vintage, man, like this. Crazy. It really speaks to the theory of it. Holy. Like I was, I grew up around, of course, with the high school kids you're talking about. I was one of them. I never had a Camaro, but lots of guys that did. And, they didn't look anything like this then and that was i'm going to call that in the 80s right mm -hmm. this car still would have been fairly new but they didn't look like this well the first thing you would do is take that stereo out and put in your pioneer super tuner 3 cassette player yeah and you didn't take it out 6.9 you didn't take it out generally you'd, yeah you'd cut out there hack you'd hack that out sure show them up or some holes in the door if you can afford the door speakers so yeah none of that's been changed none of it's been messed with you yeah know, no one put uh and everybody drove in the rain and these leaked all the time all the time and messed up your seats and nobody put a big aftermarket tachometer on the steering column none of that stuff. <laughs> screwed it in with yeah built screws yeah that's... we had the original space saver spare with the uh filler of goop Oh, really? Oh, yeah. come in. That's original knob too, even on the shifter. And yeah, no one put a team not on worn on it. That's extreme. That's the wheels you came with. Yeah, they are the right ones. Yeah, so the, uh, the did they have the, the Z twenty? They didn't. Did they have the Z twenty eight in the center caps like yeah. that? I didn't know that. Uh, the, the the clear coat was peeling heavily on the rims, so I had the rims restored at the uh, complete wheel shop. Oh yeah, in town here. Yeah. It still has the uh, t top bags. Original spare with the filler. Wow. You won't be using it, but yeah. Not at all. You know what? I put it in for shows, <laughs> but when we go out cruising on the highway and stuff, I have a full size you put a spare. spare. Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. It's only cool for shows. This was this was worth wearing the guy down. I oh yeah. I'm I sure you, I'm sure it didn't go for cheap, but um, you're not gonna find one. He sold it to me because I was the right next owner, not the right offer. Uh, just to show you this as an example here, as the, uh, to the, uh, to the previous owner and how well he looked after the car. Everybody who's ever owned a G body or an F body GM knows how well you got to lift the door to close it. Yeah, they say. Yeah. Slam. Yep. Oh, wow. I've never seen that. Yeah. Wow. One finger touch. Again, just that's a wow. sign of a quality F body car, especially with yeah. T tops because they touch. T tops and a posi. And just you just and said two words I've never heard before quality F body car. But yeah, <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> you got the only I don't even know best GM Wednesday the car made. I don't know if GM even built the quality F body, but if they did, this might be it. This, they, you found it. You yeah, found it. Awesome. Sure. Wow.
So what is your plans for it? Ever, if anything. Wash Just it, keep it? it drive it. Yeah. Yep. And keep it as beautiful as it is. Absolutely. Well, the tops come off in May. They go back on in October for winter. It lives in the heated garage. It's living its, it's, living its best life right now. <laughs> anything else you'd like to tell me about it? You know, I think we covered off on most of it, man. It's, uh... I, I really appreciate you bringing it to the show. Thanks, um, good running into you here. Well, yeah, I'm glad we did. We caught up a lot, too. But uh, showing it off. And, yeah, uh, oddly enough, we are just talking about it um, being the only Z28. I still think it is only Z28. The show where we used to see that on the second gens, especially, we used to see them all the time. But this is a survivor on top of it. So that's well, even a bonus. You know, just to build on what you said there, we used to refer to them as belly buttons or assholes because everybody has one. Yeah, yeah. That's still the Mustang guys, though. Okay, we'll go with that one. <laughs>